Still have brackets to finish up. How about that? This comes from the Southwest District, the Dayton 2 District. All these games in Division 4 played at Piqua High School. Upper half of the draw finds the top seed Rushi Raiders deciding not to take the buys. We talked about with Coach Best. We'll start their postseason Friday the 27th against county rival Houston, who they've beaten twice by 40 and 50 points respectively this season. Bradford gets the winner. Wayman Catholic has Covington in the opening round. Bottom half of that draw, a distinct Shelby County League flavor. Fort Laramie opens against Ansonia. Jackson Center against Riverside. Fairlawn taking on Botkins in the triple header Saturday the 28th at Piqua. And for one last time, let's check in with Mark and the guys. Thanks, Andy. Aaron? What team has got the best shot from this area of making it to Columbus in the state final Regardless four? of division? Regardless of the division. Coach just walked out of the room. Wayne Trace. Uh, he took my answer, but my uh, 1B would be the winner of uh, LCC St. Henry coming out of there would be my uh, number two pick. But I, I, li I like Wayne Trace. I think they got a real good shot to get out of there. Much like Crestview last year had that same path. I think Wayne Trace is the one I would put my money on. Mark? Well, you guys picked two really good schools. I would go with that all the way. But if we're looking for kind of an upset type thing, this weekend, Marion Local plays Rushi. They will match up in the regionals. The winner of that will be in the state tournament. All right, you heard it there from Mark Shine. Rushi, Marion Local winner will go on to the state tournament. Ben Reif and Tri-Village might disagree with that. <laughs> Andy, back to you. Thank you for joining.